Okay, I'm literally in the stream where, in the Valley of Elah, where David went down to the stream to pick up five smooth stones. And you can see all these stones, there's so many smooth ones. That's another indication <laughs> that the Bible's correct. It isn't a, a brook that has a bunch of uh, jagged things or granite. These are stones that you would put in a sling. They're everywhere. They're not all round, but there's plenty around. Look at that one. That one, take that one. These are all smooth stones. In this brook, David didn't want to use Saul's sword or his armor. He said, God help me, in 1 Samuel 17, it says, God help me, deliver me out of the hand of a bear and the paw of a lion. Or maybe it was a paw of a bear and the, the claw of the, of the bear and the lion. And so he knew the sling because he was a shepherd. He'd scare the, the wolves away, the lions away with the sling. So he got five, food, five smooth stones because Goliath had four brothers and he would have to kill them too. But I'm just showing you, this is the area that all this happened. The Valley Elah's up there. We're in, a, we're in a brook. This is where it says it was. It exists. They just didn't make it up like a, a fairy tale like Wizard of Oz or The Hobbit. This existed in real history. And the memory of it has been kept because look at how Israel's kind of been by itself for a long time. Okay? And, and so they could preserve these facts through people passing it on and knowing from history this is where it happened. So it's amazing. And it, what's really cool, and look at this whole book, it's full of round little stones that are smooth. <laughs> Great. Real history, archaeological proof, scientific proof, spiritual proof that the Bible is correct and been preserved by God. Okay, John.